Hello everyone, we're going to do a puzzle today. This is a 1000 piece puzzle of the Trevi Fountain which we visited in Italy. Ding ding! All the pieces are out. Couldn't fit them all on this roll up mat which we're using for the first time. So this is a green felt roll up mat that you can roll up with a tube so we can have our dining table back. Uh, so the excess pieces we have put here in the box um, not as good as we could hope, we can't see them all at once, but we'll make do. So, best tactic when starting a puzzle, what is it? Let's grab all the edges and then form a rectangular sort of shape. Well, it is a rectangular shape. Well, I'm sorry! Well, sort of. English not very good. Oh, uh, you want to put them all on the lid? Yeah, what do you think? That sounds like a good idea. Well, I've got a bunch here. In the box. So, Farina, what kind of channel is this? What kind of channel? Well, it's a channel for us to show us doing pretty average things. Hobbies, but not particularly well. We've got quite a few hobbies between the two of us. And this is but one. Puzzling, which we are revisiting, because to be honest, we haven't puzzled for probably about a year. But we have this rollout mat, and it does the job of being able to puzzle and then put it away. We'll see how well that works. So last time we puzzled, it was upstairs in the spare bedroom. Um, we had to sit on the floor and then our bums would get sore and then there was the sun shining in so it was hard to see. If it, was, uh, if it was a night, lighting wasn't quite optimal, so the reflection of the puzzle would uh, make our eyes really sore. Um, then we ended up buying this mat, hoping it would encourage us to puzzle more, because it is quite relaxing. And then if you do want to talk about some things, it just kind of naturally comes out. You could uh, just find the piece you're looking for and then talk away. Very nice. The only danger with the puzzle is if you get to a point where you're getting a bit annoyed. I don't know. Last puzzle we did was uh, there was a lot of sea, a lot of air. Oh, it was a Santorini one. Santorini, yeah. very nice, but lots and lots and lots of blue and not much to differentiate it. So you were just randomly trying to pick pieces that might fit with other pieces. It became less of constructing a picture and more of just an exercise, but we did it. Hopefully this one's a bit better. I'm seeing this one has a purple, pink and purple kind of sunset over the back of the Trevi Fountain. And so I think the gradients there in color will be a bit more interesting to put together than just straight up blue sky, which I mean, we all love a blue sky, but not when you have to put it together yourself. I th yeah, I think the problem with the last puzzle was, um, it was for, I'm pretty sure it was either, yeah, it should be Santorini, um, and then most of the houses look the same. And then yeah, they're really, all very white. Yeah, you really have to scrutinize every piece to make sure, okay, that fits there, not the other place. It was, it was driving us a little bit crazy. If you've been to Greece, you'll be familiar with the tourist towns having a very much similar aesthetic where there's a kind of the white walls of any structure with maybe a blue domed mm. roof or something like that. Mm. Um, and yeah, it looks good, but not great in a puzzle because then everything's kind kind of the same and there's also not much in terms of like architectural definition. They're usually quite smooth buildings. There's not a lot of details on them. There's no criticism of uh, current Greek architecture. It's just a criticism in terms of having it in a puzzle. <laughs> so any Greek people watching, I do love Santorini and it's a... Uh, um, aesthetic but definitely won't do a puzzle of it again i think we were, we went to santorini the year before so we thought yeah a santorini puzzle you know bring us right back but i think it's yeah it's not quite the same memory um but that's okay it was still a good puzzle and yeah just trying to find these edge pieces there's a couple more
So by now you might have already seen my wife's video. She likes to cross stitch, and so that's her contribution to I think it was called Floss Tube, right? Mm -hmm. the, the community of YouTubers that do cross stitching. Yep. And what other hobbies do we have in store for you? Mm, we like to do gaming um, separately and sometimes doing co op. Generally, I like RPG. I think JP. What's RPG? Uh, For those role role play game, which you probably play the game more for the stories, the experience than one particular thing. Um, some people really like shooting games because it's very satisfying. You try to get scores, or I don't know, kill other people before they kill you. Um, but yeah, I prefer being more mellow and just can chillax doing missions um getting immersed in certain type of storylines emotions that type of thing um shooting and trying not to get shot really stresses me out and i don't get to relax so i'd rather just uh calm down complete things at my own pace if i can't fight monsters I will just lower down the level, I mean the difficulty, That that's more of my alley. Yeah, it's important to hobby the way that you want. doesn't have to be amazing, don't have to crank the difficulty up to maximum and then just frustrate yourselves. I mean there's people that love playing on the hardest absolute settings and find real satisfaction in that. And power to you. I don't mind a little bit of a challenge in my games but at the same time I don't have all the time in the world to get so good at them that I can really do them justice at such a high difficulty so I tend to also have a relatively easy time of it. That said, Witcher right now I'm playing is pretty difficult. Is some over here? Oh, I've already gone through the whole box. Okay. Box is done. I like to watch movies. Yes. Movie is a big part of our life. Um, along with, I think series is more up our alley these days. Um, just because it, it can go on and on, and it's not too intense. So then you can end up fulfilling your time for hours. Whereas movies, it depends on what sort of movies you watch. It could be very intense for like one hour and a half and two hours, and then afterwards. You might not want to watch any movies anymore, but once in a while, it's, it's pretty nice. Well, there's also the problem that there's not many brand new movies coming out anyway. There's quite <laughs> a few series, and there's always plenty more to catch up on, but okay. movies is a bit more difficult. Um, well, we, we can currently just uh, mm -hmm. work with what we've got there, and then obviously if there's gaps, then we know we have to keep it hunting. Let's oh, start yeah. with Making the Edge. Probably should say, I'm actually not born in Australia, I'm Chinese. We should probably also say that we're Australian. <laughs> People might not know why I sound a little bit different, only a little bit. Yes, we currently reside in Australia, in Melbourne. So it's not outback Australia. There's no kangaroos within at least 10 kilometers, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And pretty similar to the rest of the world when it comes to the most ordinary things. But we, do, we are quite lucky. Yeah, we have a wonderful countryside that we can go and explore. Full of lots of unique animals that you can't find anywhere else in the world. So yeah, we're both in Australia. I'm Australian myself and Farina is not from Australia. She has immigrated here. Thanks to you. Right. Semi. I mean, I, Semi didn't, I didn't have anything to do with the initial bit. No, no, you didn't. That was more university mediated. Now my expertise. What is your expertise? Uh, I'm a bit all over the place. 
I used to, I did a PhD in metabolism science, so physiology, and then brackets, metabolic science, or metabolic physiology, and now I'm a neuroscientist. I'm not doing anything to do with metabolism. But that's okay. It's always good to learn new things. progress than I am. I've made quite a bit of pink and the purples are appearing. Very nice colours. No, we can't check. We've done this to ourselves. <laughs> we hit the picture. Well we just gotta finish the border. There's limited space. What can you do? Yes, limited real estate. But that's okay, we'll just finish the border. And then we can look at the lid and actually find out what we're trying to piece together. There we go. What else would we like to do normally? What else? Hmm. We have to cook. Gotta walk the dog. Walking the dog is essential. Um, oh, if you I haven't like watched our first video, we do have a greyhound. Her name is Amy. We got her. Oh, uh, we got her five years ago on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. Fine folks at Greyhound Safety Net, which save some greyhounds in Victoria. There's quite a few organisations that save greyhounds in Australia, and they're one of them. Awesome, awesome organisation. Yeah, they, they have some pretty fine dogs coming up. So if you need a pet, I would recommend a greyhound. They, well, they're biased. Yeah, but but they do come with some very exciting features. Uh, they like to sleep a lot. They tend to not mind if you're not around all the time. Tend Although to. you better ask. Yeah, um, these are generalizations. Yeah. Every every breed has some stereotypic traits, and not all of them the same. Just like. Can find plenty of boisterous Labradors, but I'm sure there's a Labrador out there that just wants a nice peace and quiet. But Greyhounds like their peace and quiet, and they like to sleep, which means, yeah, it's not too full on. We've got a weird one, she likes to do more walks than the average Greyhound, but that's probably better for us anyway. We are young enough that we can walk off. Even though sometimes I feel pretty old. Now we all feel pretty old. And a bit going down the side. So, I like to paint miniatures and play games with family against my friends. So if you're not familiar with that, it's called uh, the particular miniatures, it's wargaming. Uh, Usually you get unpainted miniatures, you have to glue them together, made out of plastic. And then you paint them, however you like. And then there's usually a book that tells you all kinds of fancy rules on how you should play with them. I mean, you could probably just throw them at each other like you would if you were a little kid. That's what I used to do when I first started playing a long time ago. But now it's a bit more defined. Would you say you're a full-time researcher, part-time nerd? Uh, oh, well, being a researcher is also about being a nerd, so it's kind so of... A full-time nerd. Um, yeah, or like whatever, one and a half time nerd. 150%. Yep. I mean, there's not much room for, it. Room, room, room for anything else, I think, eh? I like the, the way the pieces fit together. It seems... You, you know when it, there's no like, oh, does that fit together, you know? There's ones where you can kind of jam it and they'll be like... This one looks quite good. Feels nice. What is going on here? What's up? 
just a few What's the orientation? What do you mean? As in, is it facing you, facing me? Well, uh, my sky is the sky is here. Ah, uh, okay. Because that's why I'm putting it here. There. Go away, I'm not going anywhere. Well, the sky's done. Well, Yay. the edge of the sky. Yay. Like, this is a perfect size puzzle for this map. Look at that. I think it probably says it's for well, 750 to 1000. Yeah, I think so. We'll start working on this guy. No one said we have to finish it in one day. No, no, no we're finishing it all in one video. We'll see ah. it. It'll probably see us age. <laughs> Great! That's what I want to hear. I refuse to think I am that stupid. Well, can the rest of them all go together? How many are we two talking? Because some of them should be able to fit together. I know. But I'm not very good. Well, that doesn't help. There is one here. We should introduce more of ourselves. How much do you want to say on YouTube? Do I say on my glasses? Even though it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Why doesn't it matter? It doesn't change what I do on YouTube. No, it, it doesn't. No, it doesn't change. You being a scientist doesn't change anything either. No. But I guess it gives a bit more context. Yeah. Well, it's not like I'm trying to promote health and then the fact that I'm a pharmacist will give it a bit more authority. It, in craft, hobbies, it doesn't really matter what you normally do. Unless you're a pro. Mm, I guess. Oh, yeah. 
glue. secretly hoping well it's gonna have to be there anyway it's either there or it's got one piece in between because we look at the picture no one in between no just one it's just no. gonna be lying around here somewhere well let's look for it lost it it's gonna be half three quarters black So probably go somewhere else. But hey, that's something you need. Oh, here's another one. It's because I've moved quite a few pieces trying to get. And mine are easy to find, so. Yeah, we're going to Excuse me? Excuse me? It's all part of the plan. How, how, how rude. What if I've been waiting for this piece all my life? Oh, that sucks. You made me look very stupid on YouTube. Multiple times. I'll write it down in my notebook. found a bunch and I just I hid them. Oh. I gave them to the dog. Yeah, you did. She ate them. I have to wait until tomorrow. I will. Yep. with your life and I'm still completing border. It doesn't work like this. Well, you know, okay. progress continues. <sighs> so rude. Did you hide a bunch here? <laughs> no, on purpose. But I'm sure it's on purpose. Maybe in my hunt for my own pieces. Not a race. I guess there's only one missing then. One piece missing <laughs> from your row? That little one? Yeah. Well, then it's just somewhere out here. It's not in there, you sure? 
take a look. I don't trust you. Fair enough. Would you like to make videos of later down the track? Well, definitely us playing some games, showing generally how we muck about in games. Nothing professional, of course. Maybe. miniatures. I'm not sure how I'll do it. So maybe I'll just show there's a, a game tournament coming up. Maybe I'll show what I'm going to take to that instead of all of it. At some point I suppose, since this is a very diverse channel, <clears throat> an explanation might be in order for how the silly game plays. Oh, uh, wouldn't you want to uh, show your wish list? Nice. Hey. I just knew it would be around your side. I, you chose to ignore it I, and you wanted me to look for it of progress. for, I don't look, know, half an hour? I'm sorry, the world moves forward. Your problems were yesterday's problems. Wow, wow, now, wow. Now we are oh, moving oh, forward. I, all I hear is rudeness. No, no, no. This is... We just got to take our problems and sometimes address them sometimes just move on and that's what we've done. I wish when we went to Italy we had more time to walk around. It was a very condensed trip. And only had a couple of weeks off and we had to visit your parents. So it meant that there was only so much time dedicated to being in Europe, unfortunately. But I remember when we uh, walked around Trevi Fountain, it was like hella full. It's, it's very busy. So I'm, I'm surprised they managed to get a picture for this this box the way they did. They might have uh, photoshopped it. They I may. think I think a lot of um, YouTubers, well, Instagrammers, do the famous shot around like a particular thing that's very popular, and then they just photoshop away all the crowds around it. Yeah, you have to, because otherwise you have to ask everyone permission. You can uh, put you in a video, and I think that's a bit laborious, so... Yeah, these, these kinds of places were very popular. Now, we'll see. It's a bit hard for international travel to occur. No one can really get around. That's why also we're doing more hobbies. Got to think about what to do when you can't do other things. One of the reasons why I thought the second video would be puzzling with us was then that means I wouldn't have to show my face. So as you probably would have guessed, I am quite introverted and I get shy very easily, socially awkward. I don't do very well in a lot of social situations where you would have to talk to a lot of people you're not very familiar with. Um, I thought this way we could talk sort of about whatever we wanted, but also we wouldn't have to worry about oh, looking at a camera or trying to imagine you talking to some audience. Um, a lot more freedom this way. Unfortunately, the people are stuck here watching puzzling. Sorry! But I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about... I can say that it's good. I guess not. 
um, talk a bit more about ourselves and um, people watching our videos will know what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> you like that word? Dabblers. Dabblers. We have a dabblers. We have a dabblers. Everyone's a dabbler. Wow, it's not really professionals. Well, well, that's that's the thing about YouTube. Um, you can always find someone better, but you gotta. But can you find someone worse? That's the yes. You want to find someone worse than you, then you can look down. So that's what these videos offer. It's just an ability for people to feel better. Yes. So they can always find someone worse if they're not sure or oh, whether they should do this this hobby or not. But I shouldn't stop you. Like and subscribe for people who are worse. <laughs> oh, I ever had this. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe a cat. It could be cat hair, actually. Looking at how small and fine they are, numerous. Do you, do you feel like sneezing, coughing? No. Thank you very much. Cat. I got too close to a puzzle. I really not very good. I'm only doing four. Mm -hmm. Just casting a spell to find out what kind of pieces. Uh, did that work? Yep. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is few hours, well, several hours after our initial clip. Um, we did Quite a bit, actually. Wouldn't you say, JP? Yes. I'm quite a lot. I don't know if they can hear me. <laughs> so, JP ended up playing Blood Bowl with a friend, an online friend, um, that he knew through another friend. Um, and then when he was doing that, I was just doing cross stitch in my new stitching corner. Um, and then afterwards, we both did our workout, and now we're back. So, JP's gonna go for a run, but I'm just gonna cool down and uh, continue working on this beast. And hopefully we'll get more sorted out. Um, okay. Oh, actually, funny enough, um, when we were doing puzzling, my mom sent me a very weird video mm -hmm. of uh, some, I don't know, like random bits of where you could go, or where, where would people want to go in, in China, mm -hmm. like all these different cities, and then I'm talking to the camera. Oh, okay, isn't it? <laughs> And then I was like, well, why, why would you send me this? It's not like I could go back and go traveling or whatever. And then she sent me all these emojis, like crying and not happy. I didn't really understand what was going on. Turns out, it's her birthday today and I completely forgot. And, hmm, <laughs> not good. <laughs> uh, I hope she's not too upset. Well, I thought I would remember. Maybe I'm giving myself too much credit in terms of how much I could remember. Like how 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 well my memory is serving me. Okay, he is finally gone, and I am all you've got. <laughs> Take it or leave it. 
I thought about what to talk about when I'm just doing this kind of relaxingly. I think I'll probably talk about what uh, my experience with YouTube. Um, not sure whether you guys knew YouTube is banned in China, so I didn't know the existence of YouTube until I came here and that would have been a couple years yeah I think a couple years in Australia uh, I think at the time I was just using YouTube as a platform to watch some of the Chinese shows um, then I think YouTube slowly got bigger then somehow I was into BuzzFeed BuzzFeed videos um, I think I watched Ladylike um, What else will I do? I'm trying to think of it chronologically but I doubt it's it's gonna be like time stamps very accurately uh, And then I think there was the paranormal stuff the uh, the comparison like they try different things and then there's the lower price point medium price point higher price point those things so I probably started off watching BuzzFeed videos and then I also watched some Wong Fu stuff so kind of just here and there very random genres then I got into beauty I watched beauty for a while and I kept it up for a few years and then vlog was very in so I ended up doing like watching vlogs um, and then somehow I got into K-pop which I'm not sure whether you guys are familiar with K-pop um, I'm still watching certain K-pop music videos or comebacks uh, not very often anymore because now I've got floss tubes but I still watch them from time to time so then after that um, what else did I watch? so then I watch um, interior design related things so I watched a little bit of that because at the time um, we were talking about buying a house but obviously uh, financially we weren't able to do that but I was still hoping so I think that's how I got into interior design related things then movie reviews so we mainly watch um, Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman um, I think JP follows them a bit more than I do I watch random videos so that's when we got into movies so we would go to cinemas quite often definitely on a monthly basis I, I would say that was a few years ago maybe three, four years ago that's what we were doing very frequently um, I think JP has always been using YouTube for music, um, gaming related things. He likes weird clips. Um, some of the stuff I can't get into, but that's okay. No one says um, you have to like whatever your husband likes, right? Um, And then, um, then we had our lockdown and somehow I got into baking, baking and, and cross stitch. So I got into baking first, then I ended up watching a lot of baking videos. 
then um, I don't know how I got into cross stitch to be honest because I think I just randomly went on to a website which is called Fox Innovations here in Australia and then I was going through all the patterns and I saw this which at the time I didn't know was a Russian kit but it, it really grasped my attention and I just felt like stitching but I wasn't sure because I tried stitching when I was young and I really didn't like it so I wasn't I was very unsure whether I should give it another go then JP was very supportive he was like well try it anyways you might actually like it if not we don't lose that much just money <laughs> so I ended up giving it a go and actually really enjoyed it unfortunately I didn't well because it was I, I was a newbie obviously so I there were a lot of things I wasn't sure exactly how to do properly um, so in terms of that pattern I didn't start it in the middle it, it's a printed fabric first of all so I didn't start it in the middle the whole pattern was crooked then second of all I didn't quite understand what they meant by using two strands so I ended up using two strands folded over which was four strands and the first part the top left area of the pattern ended up being very chunky I persisted for a little bit and then decided to give up um, and then that's when because there were a lot of things I wasn't sure of I ended up watching floss tube to get an idea and that's how I continued watching floss tube and here I am trying to make videos and hopefully it will help someone <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's generally why people make videos, right? You, you would hope you would help someone. Someone out there would find it useful and you would feel like mission has accomplished. other couples out there do for fun because obviously as a couple you can't be exactly the same you can't always like the same things always talk about the same topics I mean that's the whole point of dating someone new I mean someone completely different because you would always get to know different things and then the other person will introduce you into a different world of something that's the beauty of it but obviously it would help a lot if you guys could hang out together like friends that would make things a lot easier so JP went for a run I mean he's still going for a run but it's raining now and apparently the Victoria well parts of Victoria will have thunderstorms so that's gonna be something to look forward to we walk Amy twice a day so technically Amy should be walked at some point tonight and I don't know how that's gonna work out because I hate rain I hate walking in the rain 
and if it's not too wet, Amy's okay. But if it's quite wet, Amy doesn't like the rain either. Which suits me. So, who knows? What's gonna happen then? Wow, I am, I am really confused. So, I thought what happened was we connected our dots, but it seems like something doesn't fit here. Because now we've got another edge one. Together, I have no idea. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. JP just came back from our from from, from his run, and I think I'm gonna continue working on the puzzle for a little bit off camera. Um, life goes on, and we need to cook. So that's it. Not sure whether you're gonna enjoy this video, but give us see a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button and Jeez. flick the bell to get a tickle. Get a tickle. Mm. Mm. See you in the next one. Bye!